Hello everyone, I am Shish Tripathi. My roll number is 21MA10059 of section 8 and this is for the DIY project 3. Here we can see a quartz sun flame heater. It is right now in a working condition. You can see the light here. It's working. Now let's begin our disassembly. I am plugging it out. Now we are going to open the set. Now here are two additional screws. Now we are going to open this up. Now we are going to se separate the filament and the body part. On the other side. Now we have screw at the bottom. The last screw has been unscrewed now. Now we can se separate the body and the filament part. You have to be cautious here. Now we have fully disassembled the electric heater. Now let's take a look at its parts now. This is the main power supply and here we have provided the neutral. From here it goes to the button from where we switch it on or off. Here the two heaters are supplied in a parallel combination. We can see the quartz rod here. Inside it is there is a typical resistance, but uh, the difference between a typical resistance heater and uh, between a quartz heater is that uh, the main source of supply here is infrared radiation. So when the resistance here heats up, it uh, it warms up the quartz to a certain threshold after which the quartz uh, supply is. Uh, the surrounding with infrared radiation and provide the warmth in a straight line so that is the reason uh, a blower is not fitted into uh, electric heater because the main source here is the infrared and it is not absorbed in surrounding air so uh, even if we provide a blower or something like air blower here that would actually be disadvantageous because that would fail the purpose. We have thimbles here attached to the buttons 
and the LED light here which is right now disconnected and from here it supplies directly to this part here the both are uh, in parallel now let's begin the tough part and assemble it together now we are fitting the filament part into the body part compartment uh, first we first we have to connect the power supply to the quartz rods and tighten them you can see here the background of the rods are designed as such that the whole of the heat power is concentrated towards the front of the heater so a person sitting right or left side of the heater would not be feeling the warmth of it yeah here back attaching the filament part to the body part The assembly here is the crucial part. We need to tighten it really well. Now the side parts. Let's put the other one. I believe we have placed back it right. Now let's
let's get the screws back. I believe we have the wrong one here. Let's close off this one. Sorry. The tighten sides. Now it's time for the back. This quartz heater is of 800 watts. And we have got a circuital diagram here also for your reference. I think we should skip the screwing up part. So we have reassembled this back into its former glory. <laughs> now let's plug the heater. You can see the LED working here. Let's pray it works. And yes, it's working fine. Thank you everyone.